Hi, baby girl. Good morning, everybody. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. And I'm here with Kali. Kali Tigress. Good morning, everybody. Yay, I'm starting to see comments. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> That's a tiger chuff from Kali. Hi, Melissa. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Kathy. So, Kali's just patiently waiting on breakfast. Hey, Susan. Good morning, Kay. She has been scent marking her tree ever since I walked up. <laughs> So today is a very exciting morning. For the last few months, I have been working on a brand new theme, a brand new look for our main online store, which is bigcatrescue.biz. And it's all ready to go, and I published it this morning, so it's now live out there. Love for you guys to go check it out. Good morning, Kitten Karma. It's her rehab day, so she's probably heading out to take care of all the babies. Right now we have Ash and Cinder that are outside in the rehab enclosures. You can watch them at bigcatcams.com. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and then we have Flint. Um, so Flint, oh boy, he's a mess <laughs> and he's a riot. I watched him all, all afternoon and all night last night. He cracks me up. So Flint is currently in the rehab hospital and we've given him full access to the entire room, uh, with nothing big that he can jump off of. If you guys were watching his camera yesterday, you might have seen um, Jamie and Victor in there putting shutters up on his window. That is to keep him out of the windowsill. We don't want him climbing up there. Um, and then what we'll be doing is each day he's getting two different treatments with the Beamer blanket. And then after that, he actually gets to go outside into very small compared to like the big rehab enclosures. Um, but multiple hospital recovery cages are outside, inside one of the one of the rehab enclosures next to Ash and Sender, and he'll be going out um, for a couple hours each day to get natural light and to be outside. Hi. So that's very exciting. You've got Jasmine stalking Kali over there. So it's a lot of work for the keepers, but it's really rewarding to see him having a good time outside. And then Malachite is on his, on the usual two-week quarantine, and he's also on a camera. You can find all these cameras at bigcatcams.com. And Malachite is our very newest bobcat that was examined on Monday. He's doing really well. Um, he's also in the bobcat hospital right now. <laughs> yeah, I do believe Kali's in heat. She's been very rubby. Likes to show you her little tushy. Yep, there goes Karma into the rehab area. Are you going to Keisha? Yeah. Do you mind if I follow? Okay. They would love to see Keisha. So Marie, a lot of you guys know Marie because she um, does all of our supporter videos and she is also our morning meds keeper. She was out pace. Yeah, I can see her. <laughs> she likes to play pick and <laughs> She's very good at pick and She is. So Marie's just getting her breakfast already and her meds. Yeah, we always have to figure out where she is and figure out, do we need tongs? Do we need a stick? Do we need an extra long stick? <laughs> yeah, come around this way. All right. Of course, she loves that. That's exercise morning. <laughs> yes, she wants to make sure we all get our steps in. Yeah, it's very, 
you can see the lake is basically encroaching on the enclosures. There's a real small path for us to walk. Uh, we'll ask her if she's been to Hoover yet. Usually we do him at the very end, so she might not have gone over there yet. But he's been doing fine. I've checked in with him twice this week, actually. So we'll stay back a little bit. If she doesn't want to cooperate, we might wander away. But this is Keisha. Oh, very chuffy. Marie, everyone's saying how much they love you and they love all your videos. <laughs> she loves you guys too. And if you guys want to know why Keisha doesn't have a tail, you should definitely head on over to her bio page, bigcatrescue.org slash Keisha. I'll tell you her full story. She came to us like that. <laughs> So that's the magic piece. We always try to get the meds in them first thing. Good job, lady! Because she especially can get very irritable and she won't stick around for long. Good job. <laughs> And I've been trying to update people. The Wildcat Walkabout Show channel disappeared last week. And so now you can rewatch all of these lives at dailybigcat.com or on my public Facebook page. And we've checked in with Hoover several times over the last week and he's doing pretty good. So you can see what she's doing. She's taken chicken and uh, pork and dipping it into liver juice because we've discovered she really likes the taste of it. And you can see Kali is over here for moral support. No pork. No pork. <laughs> 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 yeah, she gets mad. <laughs> you offer her one thing she didn't want, and she's mad. <laughs> Keep going, babe. If she keeps looking at me, I'll probably walk away. She is. <laughs> got Kali over here and Keisha over here and Marie in the middle. We don't have any shared walls here so I guess this is a good time to tell you. So Keisha had shared walls at the terrible facility she came from and we believe uh, lions took her tail and part of her ear. <laughs> yep they gotta make us get in the steps. She wants you to go swimming in the lake. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's very good chuff this morning though. Gotta make her work for it. <laughs> she made eye contact. <laughs> no, actually most of the cats here eat very well and very easily and they eat um, like big boys and girls in their feeding lockouts. Keisha though has been very, very picky ever since last year when we believe she had a stroke. And then a lot of the tigers, when they go into heat, can get a little finicky with food. Thank you so much, Monica, for your donation. This is Kali again, showing off. Sometimes, I know, sometimes when you give Kali attention and then you turn around back towards Keisha, then Keisha will take it because she's like, oh, you were giving somebody else attention. <sighs> You're so silly. Oh, 
Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, we have a meds route in the morning, which is what Marie's been doing, and they are definitely the pickier, usually the oldest, and have the most ailments. And there's a list of those cats. Everybody else does pretty good on their own. <laughs> She's like, come back later. Yeah. Try me again in an hour. <laughs> yeah. You can see your little nubbin. <laughs> well, everyone's asking about Hoover. Have you been to Hoover yet? Yes. Did he do good? Yes. Okay, good. Very, very good. I'm, I'm guessing again, probably four pounds again. Great. Awesome. Yay. Yeah. And Miss Sapphire took her uh, supplements. Ah, yeah. good deal. Yeah, we everybody's been struggling with Sapphire, but Marie and I are like, we're not giving up until this cat eats. <laughs> and she's been doing good, so. Oh, those two pounds, I didn't take them. Yeah. <laughs> not gonna stop. No. Thank you. Well, thanks for letting us watch. <laughs> yes, she is definitely the most difficult. Where did Jasmine go? Here we go. Let's go say hi to Jasmine real quick. Are you just watching? Patiently watching. What are you doing in there? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Yeah, Hoover's been averaging anywhere from only eating about four pounds for a whole day all the way up to eating over 10 pounds. So he's pretty much doing the same thing he's always done. He's always been like a really good eater on some days and then all of a sudden he won't eat and then he'll eat again. He's been like that from day one. Hey lady. <laughs> She's like, I'm watching Marie because Marie has a whole cart of food. Your keepers are coming with breakfast. You wanna come say hi? Yeah, hi. Boom. Gonna follow that cart with the food. Hi, Mama. Oh, rubbins. Stretches. A little bit of a growl there. So this is Jasmine. And if there's anybody brand new in the comments, feel free to tell us that you're brand new. Nope. Don't want that end. Yep, that's what I thought. The big cats not only rub and scratch to mark their territory, they also pee on everything. Jasmine's notorious for marking keepers. Uh, Lindsay, we feed once a day, um, unless they are the older, pickier cats that are on meds. We, um, and then we usually go out as many times as we need to, to get them to eat a decent amount of food. But every day between eight and 9 a.m. usually. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, pretty lady. We're on 67 acres with just under 60 permanent residents. We're located in Tampa, Florida. If you guys are new to us, we're a GFAS accredited sanctuary. That's the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries. We don't do any buying, selling, trading, breeding, or touching. It's a true sanctuary. We get to let them just live in peace. A lot of them have come from really bad situations, so we just try to give them as much love and space as we can. Thank you to everybody answering questions and the comments for mm -hmm. me. And I really appreciate the two people mm -hmm. that have donated. Everybody, I see somebody keeps asking about a newcomer. I'm assuming you're talking about Malachite, our newest rehab and release bobcat, but he is fine. I talked about him earlier. Hi, Alice, welcome. Hi, April and Lisa, welcome. If you guys have questions, feel free to definitely ask them. There's a lot of moderators. A lot of our regulars are in the comments. And if I miss your question and it doesn't get answered, I do reach out to you in the comments after these feeds are over. <laughs> Helen, some days it feels like the cats never stop going in heat. But yes, they do, and they all kind of cycle together, so. April, we actually don't have cheetahs here. Cheetahs are extremely overbred in captivity and they don't usually have very long lifespans um, and they usually don't seem to be the species that needs the most rescuing. 
lions and tigers are used and abused for like cub petting schemes and backyard pseudo sanctuaries and things like that and they're the ones that typically need rescued the most um, along with small cats like servals, bobcats, caracals. The small cats um, people tend to think they because they're small they can make them pets and they make horrible pets again because they scratch and pee on everything to mark their territory. They can get very very aggressive. Morning Robin. you guys are just joining, we have seen Kali Tiger, Keisha Tiger get her meds with Marie, and then we are here with Jasmine. I figured we would go next door and say hi to Cyrus. Hi! All right, lady. Food's coming. Food's coming next. Oh, sorry, I'm struggling to close that gate. Hi! So we'll hop back on my cart here. We'll go see Cyrus and hopefully Nikita. Nikita is our only lion. We have one black leopard named Jinx. We have one jaguar named Manny. If you guys are new to us and you enjoy these live feeds and you want to learn about each cat that lives here um, and how they came to us and all of that, definitely check out our website, bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio has every single cat that lives here listed there we are open to the public every day but thursday for guided educational tours <laughs> you're just blasted with sunlight sir hi come here mr trill there we go now we can see your pretty face yeah this is cyrus yeah that noise he's making is a trill. <laughs> he's such a cutie pie. Cyrus is a caracal. I don't want that end. Turn back around. But you can learn all about the different tours we give here at bigcatrescue.org slash tickets. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much anything you need to know, go to bigcatrescue.org. That's our official website. Yeah, tell them to go there. And I mentioned earlier, for anyone who joined in late, I just launched our brand new theme for our main online store. <laughs> yeah, and you're very excited about it. That's bigcatrescue.biz. We actually have four online stores, but that Shopify store has always been our main one. Yeah, I know. Um, I've been a keeper out here for over four years now, so there's really nobody that like gives me major attitude except for the ones that kind of do it to everybody, which would be like Natalia, our more leopard, very hissy. Keisha, she can turn on a dime and be roaring in your face. Where are you going? But everybody else, not so much. I guess Nala, Serval, she, she loves to be hissy at me too. So silly. Yeah. You're very excited about the new website, aren't you? Maybe I get a little bit of my life back. <laughs> no, it was actually really fun to do. I've never created a Shopify store before, so that was a new learning experience. Oh yes, good call, Susan and Amanda. You're right, Amanda is definitely our, probably our strongest attitude on on property. So Cyrus is showing you how his enclosure works. Those of you wondering about our enclosures, each um, bubble system is about 12 to 1800 square feet. And they have multiple of those that are connected um, through little tunnel systems with guillotine doors. And like this little box here, this is his feeding lockout. The feeding lockout is where the cats know they can come in um, and get fresh water. This is where their food comes to them. We just drop it in through the top onto that slab. And then we lift the door. April, our oldest cat on property is Tiger Lily, a 24 year old bobcat. And our youngest is Nabisco, which is also a bobcat. He's only a couple years old.
And then of course we have rehab bobcats that are part of our rehab and release program, native Florida bobcats that have either been orphaned, injured, found in some way or another. Um, we're able to rehabilitate them and then release them back in the wild and they usually come in very, very young. All of them right now are all less than a year. All right, silly. Who's that? It's Lauren and Catherine. Lauren B is our coordinator today. Catherine's our operations manager. It's a busy time in the morning. Right now is when all the keepers have gone through and closed feeding lockouts, so it's safe to feed everybody. Yeah, you're right, Bonnie. Flint might be taking that youngest spot, but we don't have all the official dealings worked out with that. Technically, when we rehab a bobcat, they belong to the state. So, going through all the motions on that. But we will announce when things like that are super official. So I heard that they locked Nikita out into her open air section. And let's go find out why. <coughs> Damn very quick. She's like, it's breakfast time. It's not. It's fake breakfast today. Come here. Fake breakfast. It's yours. Fake breakfast today. Oh, that's right. Tomorrow's flea treatment. Yeah, ah. Now I know why I'm getting so much attention. All right. So today's a fasting day um, because it's tomorrow's funny. flea meds. <laughs> yeah. So, and why is she being locked over here today? Uh, we're going to hopefully get to her Work on that today. section. Yeah, I gotcha. She's got, she's got so lots of branches everywhere and leaves. Oh, boy. <laughs> and it's been wet over here, so I haven't wanted to lock her over. Right. It's dried out a little bit. So. Just a little bit. Hi, Mama. So this is Nikita. She's our only lion. She's a very big girl. I think I saw some questions. Yeah, Ash and Cinder are together in their rehab enclosure. Flint is just going outside for outdoor time and he's next door. And I haven't done that yet, so I'm not sure if they're paying attention to each other or not. <laughs> so weird. Why are you doing that? So silly. So we do flea treatment quarterly. And so the day before, because there are these big nasty pills that we need to sneak into their food. And it can be very, very difficult. So they do fast the day before, unless they're on meds. She's so ridiculous. I think she's using it to groom herself. I think so too, yeah. She's gotta get it wet. She goes, normally they get their pole wet, and yeah, then. she's like, no, I don't wanna get my feet yeah. wet. No feet wet, just use this pole. I'll just use the pole. <laughs> <laughs> You're so goofy. <laughs> um, yeah, she weighed about 426 pounds when she saw the vet about a month or two ago. Because usually we do the gate, She'll do this for hours, too. <laughs> You'll do this forever and ever. <laughs> Can hear how rough her tongue is. Big cat tongues are barbed, just like your cat at home, only much bigger. It's designed to take fur and skin off of their prey. One lick could probably rub the skin right off your arm. All right, good job. Good job, good lady. Yeah. You're gonna have to supervise today, make sure they work hard. <laughs> You'll make sure they work hard over there. Get it all cleaned up for ya. <laughs> <laughs> That's very silly. 
They're very, very silly. Yep, this is, um, this girl's got her own cult following, <laughs> if you guys are new to us. And again, bigcatcams.com has all of our webcams. I believe her camera might have been on highlights, though. Um, she's got a feeding station nest cam and then an explore.org cam. <laughs> so goofy. You're gonna watch everyone like a hawk today because you're hoping they got food. Get a long drink of water. are just joining in. We've seen Kali and Keisha, Jasmine, Cyrus. Now we're here with Nikita. Hey Mike, I'm here with Nikita. I'm literally getting splashed in the face by the way, just in case you were wondering. This is the splash zone. Water comes pretty far out. in the shower from a lion. Yes, actually a group of about 14 of us here from Big Cat went and saw the Lion King uh, the Monday after it came out. We all cried like babies. What an amazing way to make a film, an iconic film, and not use a single live animal other than unfortunately the cub that they used to base Simba off of, but at least they weren't animals on the set. Wow, that was a good one. I know, Mama. I know. <laughs> All right, I know, they locked that part up, so you gotta get cozy out there. So Nikita has this whole um, open air section that she's currently in. You can see it's an open air top. And then she's got this tunnel system. She's peeing on the door. <laughs> she's like, let me over there. Those people touched this door. She's getting irritated. Uh, you're so goofy. But anyway, she can walk through this tunnel normally and then she's got a whole roof section. But uh, again, we never go in with the cats. So we have safely locked her over. And then you can see how tall the grass is. The side's getting very, very overgrown right now. So because of that, keepers are gonna come in here today and mow and weed whack and get branches off the roof and check the whole thing over. Victor showing up for the day. Oh, I just realized. Okay, so there's something awesome I need to show you guys. And then I think we'll head up and try to see Max and Mary Ann. And that's probably where we'll end for today. One of the brand new tiger pools is now up and moving and it has a waterfall. So my husband Mark and Jamie and Victor worked really hard on this for seemed like months because of the rain. So we're building three new pools. You can see there's one over there as well. There's still one more to go. You guys helped fundraise in order to make this happen. We'll be putting one more pool right down there. This is where the Guatemala tigers are going to be coming. We're rescuing three tigers from Guatemala. Yay! Isn't that amazing? So, so awesome. I still don't have any official word on when that's happening, and I'm really, really afraid it's going to be when I'm out of the country. 
and I'm trying to digest that information. <laughs> so we'll see. Yay! Unfortunately for you guys, I'll be gone for at least 10 days, so I won't be doing lives, but I'm sure Carol will try to squeeze some in. There's Tiger Lake. Never been on our property. We've got solar panels that actually are what help run those tiger pools. Frisky bobcats are probably at the other end waiting to see if breakfast is ever going to show up. Thank you again to everybody that shared this live feed. That's always the best way for you guys to really help our cats out for free sharing anything on our Facebook page, our Instagram feed, our YouTube channels, BigCatTV.com and DailyBigCat.com. You can see all this rain's making everything grow. It's hard to find anybody. Hi, Marianne. Hi, lady. This is Marianne Bobcat. Where's Maxie? Max and Marianne are two bobcats that do live together. Most big cats are solitary by nature, but we've found, especially with bobcats, oh, there's Maxie, that they actually do quite well if they're introduced at a young age. Here's Max. You're panting. I bet you guys just got done playing. Oh, Maxie, you're so handsome. You're so handsome. Well, and thank you to the two people that donated. Thank you to everybody who helped answer questions for me today. And again, welcome to anybody who was brand new. I try to do these lives each morning that I'm here or anytime that we do something interesting. If we're moving cats to and from vacation areas, just moving them to new enclosures. Typically every Monday we have some kind of medical exam or procedure happening. Hey Christy, glad to see you here. And again, go check out the brand new online store, bigcatrescue.biz. Last three months of hard work. Still more to go, because I'm gonna be adding new designs to that site pretty much almost daily, it's gonna feel like. <laughs> Definitely check back weekly. There will probably always be something new for quite a while. All right, everybody. Well, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great day. sure I will be seeing you guys again soon. What are you looking at anyway, Max? You don't see anything happening over there. How about we show that side of your cute? Oh, he's still gonna look away. <laughs> You're so goofy. Aw, all right, everybody. Well, thank you. <laughs>